All right, so I've been covering video games on YouTube since 2010. So 13 years of my life this April. And this might be one of the best openings to any video game I've ever experienced. So, any and all support you dropping this, greatly appreciated. If you would like a full series, I'll say the first 24 hours goes. If we get like 20 or 30,000 likes in the first day, expect a full series. Shout out to Focus Entertainment. They're actually sponsoring this first part. And if you'd like to play Atomic Heart yourself, I have a link at the very, very top of the description. Just click that. The game is now available on PS4 and PS5, which I actually, I'm playing it on PS5, and it runs amazing. It's like perfect 60 the entire time. Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X, and PC. My link should take you where you need to go if you want to buy the game yourself. And essentially what this game is all about. So it's an FPS game with actual playing elements. It takes place in an alternate 1955. And throughout the game, the main protagonist is a character named P3. He's actually an officer on special assignments. Gonna be fighting against robots that went haywire, essentially. And one of my favorite things in the game is his uh, experimental power glove he has on his hand. He can use the loot, and you can, like, clean an entire room out by, like, going around holding down the button. You can scan with it. You can use it during combat as well. You got different types of melee weapons, like guns and stuff like that as well. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and jump in. I love you all. Best audience ever. I'm gonna give away two copies of this game as well. One for PS5, one for the Xbox Series S and X. If you want a chance when you'd like the video, leave a comment of when you found my YouTube channel. But anyways, love you all. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. This is going to be awesome. Here we go. Go ahead and see what we got. Peaceful Adam. What is this? Easy sightseeing tour facility 3826, comrade. Of course, you still have to fight. But all the plot will keep on your toes. That's pretty cool. Local failure. Just trying to stay more alive than dead. I like that one. Armageddon! This one looks crazy. What in the world? Save your bullets and always keep one in reserve for yourself. Wow. All right, then. We're going to go with the middle option. Here we go. I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it, Glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> I gotta just say one thing, and we're only like a few seconds into the game, but platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. This type of look on a game is incredible. Republics live here, including the German SSR. Let's be doing like a sightseeing tour. Have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Hey, look at that statue. This gives no other PS5 game an excuse. The frame rate is incredible. The graphics look amazing. Sure, thanks. Just brought me a drink. That's insane. And it takes it from you. That's awesome. We got some balloons over there. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Man, this is awesome. I had no idea what I was wow, getting into, but this game day. looks incredible. Look at the background. Look at all that stuff. Oh my goodness. Look at the pig. Hold on. The pig's just chilling. What's up with your Vovas box, Andre? They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? They've been like that all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold Piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Whoa! You did it! Oh, thanks a million. And enjoy the celebration. I'm in awe right now. This is like next level. Bring me something Good morning, else. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. 
Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. I mean, this is... We've only seen, like, pieces of the game, but... The frame rate on PS5 is amazing. The graphics look incredible. You know what? It, it, man, this is just so unique. There's a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions for once. Guess we're getting out right here. Man, I'm hyped. I don't know what's going to happen next, but I'm excited. I kind of want to check around a little bit. Game saved. Juggling. Nice. No rest for the wicked. Reach the park. It's behind me, it looks like. I'm just kind of interacting with everything. I just... Man, there's so many people on screen at one time. Gather in the town square to hear his address. Bad my social credit rating isn't so high enough to get a thought to myself. Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No nah, thanks, I'm just browsing. A thought device. Oh, I restrict me. No thanks. I'm all set. I could have just picked up the car. That's so cool. There's so much going on in this one area. I'm blown away. I really am. Buy a lottery ticket and win an apartment in Buy a copy of the Facility Herald, comrade. Breakthroughs abound. Biology, robotics, gunsmithing, and just in time for universal polymerization. You can't stop progress, huh? That's right. Doesn't it fill you with pride? You get options. Hold on. Uh, what's new in robotics? What's new in robotics? The way things are going, in five years, robots will be completely indistinguishable from humans. Legacy anthropomorphic models like me will receive a complete polydermic makeover, making them capable of extremely subtle facial expressions. One day you'll be buying a newspaper, and you won't even realize you're talking to a robot. I'd rather be able to tell who's human and who's bot from the get-go. I mean, it's obvious right now just from the design, but uh, let's ask each one. So, what's going on in biology right now? Everything, comrade. To take just one example, our scientists have just developed an experimental vitamin complex that promises to increase the lifespan of Soviet citizens to between 100 and 150 years. Damn, that's a lot of time to kill. I'm going to ask each one. Well, we get the last one's like the exit thing. What can you tell me about gunsmithing? I'm asking as a professional. There's a brief piece on new weapon systems. Something about Comrade Kalashnikov revisiting Gauss's work on magnetism to improve modern electromagnetic weaponry. They say he's expecting to increase power by a factor of three to five. Hmm. I wouldn't mind taking that for a spin. At a shooting range, of course. All right, here we go. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Take it easy. A newspaper. What the hell do I need that for? In case you're unaware, newspapers are a source of information. We got thought devices. We got hand. babies can right I just here. Just get the information from you, comrade major. May I remind you that I can display information about our surroundings on your retina? It won't make you any smarter. But it will make it easier to read. Use your glove's built-in menu. <sighs> Lousy prick. Guys, just sleep it on the bench. I'm just trying to, like, soak it in right now. My general rule of thumb is in the first 30 minutes, I'll know if a game is legit or not. like, good. And I feel like we're not even that far into it, and I can already tell this is about to be a fun experience. I want to see what this is really quick. So it's like... Oh, I can't go around. 
Here we go. Look at like the design. Just to have this going on in the background is amazing. All right, let's go to the objective. I feel like I'm <laughs> looking around a lot. I could get sidetracked for hours. The art design is really well done. Focus Entertainment's been putting out some heat lately. I like it. All right, game saved. Let's go. Wait, go around the crowd. What are we looking at? I just got one question, and that's how. I play so many games where it struggles to have a lot of stuff on the screen. You know, this one, it's like there's no lag. In the blink of an eye, power-hungry dictators had turned the civilized world into a raging inferno. A tragedy that will forever be remembered in every nation and every household. Tsunami struck Japan. So happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. You can and become part of collective. I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Got some sweeping going on. Man, I'm hyped. I don't know what's gonna happen next, but I'm excited. Nineteen thirty seven, nineteen thirty nine. You fought in the war, comrade major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I stay here, Bull. I can't figure out what it is. Me and the guys need to Crispy critters, man. Alright. Fuck. What we're gonna do is language, major. let it we're in a public place. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna like let the subtext or whatever there pop up or the subtitles for the text. And you can read it if you need to pause it. Because it translates it for you. That's pretty cool. Yeah, feel free to pause it if you need to. This is I think this is an order. I'm going by the dates. 1939. Wait, did I miss a paragraph back here at all? I think we're good so far. We got a bot playing the piano. And then we got another one over here. Man, this is so cool. I feel like you only get to play a game once for the first time, you know? So I want to experience everything. I hope to be like a full series out of this. I'll say this first video does. If it does well in likes, believe it. Cranking these videos out. Here we go. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective! Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally! This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly-education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want. A university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example. And you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. Uh, all right. Everything is through your hand, okay. I'm guessing it's like grab it. That's pretty cool.
At least it doesn't hurt. You have just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? I love the guys that like the voice acting. All right. Wait, what? Hold R1 plus R1. All right. Demon, be gone. Double tap it, okay. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Alright, leave the lab. It's like watching the bots like follow you like the eyes. It's coming. What is this to talk about? Uh Huh. I've avoided all spoilers for this game, by the way. The address by the director Going in without knowing anything. Dr. Sechenoff is about to begin. Look at all this stuff. Oh, they're on both sides. Oh my goodness. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. It's getting closer. I kind of want to see what this is. Today, we stand on the brink of the greatest events in the history of mankind. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing evolutionary victory that will profoundly change the world as we know it. Is anybody else just amazed at how much is going on on the screen without any just look, frame rate dropping, you know? Our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few Thanks to my invention, your polymers process medic adapt. It is not impossible to launch a world all-encompassing at last, a network of humans and robots. Humans will be able to control machines with their thoughts alone. And finally, we will be free to forget the difficult Report to the lobby of that high rise major. And dedicate ourselves to science. On behalf of all at facility 3826, I present to you the device of the future. The neural connector thought. It will allow human beings to be in the center of Galactic 2.0, a network for all mankind together. Uniting the intellects of all individuals into a powerful mind free of all boundaries. Thanks to the thought neural connector, you will control robots with your mind. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. So glad to see you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. Of course, combining the car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. You it's been left with no one of his bodyguards. Yeah, not to leave. Some communications equipment and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. I'm blown away. I really am. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. It's like the art design, like, like all the stuff out here, the statues, the things spinning right here, everything. The design of the room, it's just like well thought out, even the floors. 
brain and your personal thought device is made possible via a tiny injection of neuropolymer at a local center for polymerization, where you will also receive your thought device in five minutes. In just five minutes, we're supposed to go in here, right? The future. So the elevator's ready. Comrade. As a citizen of the mighty Soviet Union, join your Hold on. patriots and undergo... Oh, it's going up now. Nice. Stand with no button required. Let's go. Learn how to control robots with your own mind and explore space. Reach the pinnacle of evolution. The global launch of Collective 2.0, our marvelous network, will be on the 13th day of the month of June, 1955. Only two days away. Get your thought device today. And become Homo Futuro among the first. The future is already yours. I've never seen chairs on an elevator, especially rolling ones. <laughs> I'll be I'll be terrified. I guess it can't really go anywhere, you know. But still, so far I don't know what to think. I mean, it's been awesome, like taking everything in. But as far as the story, I have no idea what's about to happen. So I'm really excited. But everything I've seen up to this point has amazed me, and it takes a lot. Play a lot of games over the last almost 13 years on YouTube, and not a lot have this impact in the beginning. Here we go. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove. That never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? All right. Uh. Guess we go back. That's all we needed. Get into the turbine. Section off here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Just like look at this scenery. We got the different statues. We got the hand in the middle. All right, so so far I love it. I think the direction of it, I don't know what's about to happen, but I'm excited. A very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? 
The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 with yeah, parades I just came from in every city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyos. How about some music? That's more like it. There's a streamer mode in this game, so luckily this is safe, so. So you get in the car and you just get picked up. <laughs> like the bus and swordfish. That's funny. Man, I like this setting a lot. So wait, where are we? Oh wow, we're like in a I see you finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Führer. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Man, there's like Don't one of these everywhere, it looks like. Much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. Look at this statue. It's all the way to the ground to all the way up here. That's insane. Dang, so everything is up in the sky pretty much. Or now we're going down to the ground. I don't know what's going to happen when we get down here. We'll see. If that's where we're going, that is. Uh-oh, we're turning. Going through the clouds. I gotta admit that I didn't know what this game was gonna be like, but I am pleasantly surprised. See some water on the... Uh the windshield. This is facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11:47 a.m. Outside temperature 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedyansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. I'm just kind of soaking this all in. The game is extremely optimized. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. 
We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Major, Petrov is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Your Watch out! Now what am I supposed to do about it? What the? Please do not oh, pass in your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory of the facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, comrade major. I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. What the hell are I you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Dropa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Comrade Major, I'm falling. What the shit? That's not good. Fuck. Oh, fuck. I had a feeling oh, something fuck. was about to happen. That escalated very quick. Atomic Heart, here we go. That was one of the best prologues I've ever seen in any video game. Killing me.
Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Viktor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Section of out. What just hit me? Something just hit me. I don't know. All right, so if everybody's hostile now, I'm wondering... Combat so far is great. Dodge attacks. Oh, while moving. Ooh, it's not... Man, that's awesome. Combat feels really nice. So we got an alarm level on the top right. Objective on top left. We got health bar. What about anything? Touchpad. Oh, touchpad does this. Oh. Got a map here. We got lore as well. Interesting. This game is massive already. Holy shit. That's not good. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Come on! Anybody! Hey, you! I'm coming! You alive in there? I'm gonna get attacked, I feel like. Shit! Uh, get away from me! He's just trying to, like, move me down there. Hold on. I wonder how- I wonder how strong they are. I mean, it's a robot, but... What just happened? What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, ma'am. No ma sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Uh. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way, too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla. Son of a bitch. We've got 30 seconds. Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Royally we gotta move fucked. quickly. No good. Get over here, beefcake. Now, no, 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 now. Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. Riding my arsenal. Man, she is now. awesome. Take that. Eat shit and die. Uh, 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 shit. Uh, uh, Granny Zena. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. Him. You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. Holy shit! 
Oh my god. Man, we are going far down. My goodness. I'd be scared to grab anything. Like, try to slide through. <laughs> we gotta take a break. What a goddamn cluster. Man, that was insane. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how do you end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. I don't know what was about to happen there, but the fact that we're, like, underground... Hold on. This is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Ekaterina Vishnevskaya. There's been an incident at the Babylon complex. Robots have started killing everyone in sight. Right now, I'm in... Hey, <sighs> who's there? They found me. Stay away! I've got a grenade! Hey, lady, this is Sergeant Major Ibrahimov. I'm human. You need to come with us. It's dangerous here. Get away from me, you monster! No, listen to me! This thing says they can hear you. The build-up is amazing. Look at the door handle. I mean, I went to the end and I didn't see anything else. Uh, we got this one. There we go. The valve. Let's get it. I'm just amazed at... Almost! Can I get it? There we go. I must already had that. Alright, here we go. Oh, somebody back there. Open the gate. Just turn the handle and open the door. Oh my goodness. I like how that's the direction we have to actually go. Oh no. We got shotgun shells just now. This says they can hear you, I'm guessing. Yeah, okay. Same text. Uh, and the machines rose from Uh forewarned is forearmed. Okay, so enemies can perform power attacks. Best moment to dodge, okay. Yeah, oh boy. May I give you some advice? I'm kinda busy right now. Try to avoid the robots more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks there it is, okay. by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous and may knock you down. Shit on a shingle, why didn't you tell me that before? Man, I gotta admit, the healing and everything was perfect there. Okay, it nice. Wouldn't hurt to collect all right, collecting resources in mass. Uh, let's see. So, a lot of crates. Okay, that makes more sense. Hold it in that direction. Other resources you find along the way, Major. Oh my goodness. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Avalakov backpack for storing items and equipment. It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. Man, the fact that we're just like looting freely. 
is insane. That's a nice quality of life thing I've ever seen in any kind of video game. Just being able to loot nonstop. We got a lot of stuff too. Uh, let's play this. Why'd you turn that thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on. What was it say? Oh wait, it's got the thing for uh. All right, feel free to pause it if you need to. Granny, okay. Granny Xena. Hmm. All right, top secret. Got here, comrade Muravyova. My orders are to document everything and you can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording me and let me through. And don't call me Comrade Muravyova. I'm Granny Zena to you, Sonny. Uh, we aren't allowed to let you through, Comrade, uh, Granny Zena. Not without authorization. Really? I was always allowed in here before, and now I'm not. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Listen here. Either you let me through right this instant, or I'll come back later. And somebody else will be cooling his heels in here. What you say? <clears throat> Go ahead. That's what I thought. Dismissed. Very nice. The fact that we're just like looting non-stop. I can't get over it. One of the best openings to any video game I can remember. Like, I can't think of another one that had kind of, like, this effect on me, you know? Loot all that. Is that everything? Oh, wait. I might miss some stuff, but it's all good. We got some health there, too. Nice. So the bottom left-hand corner, you got hold down to heal up. Okay. Hey, glove. My name is Charles, comrade major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how this Petrov guy managed to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. Oh my god. Gotta be cautious. There we go. Boot up really quick. Very nice. Try to time the unblockable stuff. Or the charge attacks. We're not going there. As a Soviet scientist, I've always considered myself an atheist. But right now, there's only one thing I can say. May God have mercy on our souls. We've locked the magnetic door to the cable car tunnel, but I don't know how long we can keep the robots inside the complex. Hey, Ivan, is it me? Or did that bush just move? Ivan! Ivan! Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnet. Something's wrong. Oh, shit! Oh, my goodness. It's like a worm, almost. Alright, that is it for part one. I didn't know where to really stop the video, but I thought that was kind of a nice little spot. But anyways, love you all, best audience ever. If you want a part two, just to throw that like button. Again, thank you, Focus Entertainment. 
for sponsoring this video. If you want to buy the game yourself, I have a link at the very top of the description. It's available on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series, S and X, and PC. Just click that link. It should take you where you need to go. I love you all, and I'll talk to you very soon. Peace.